What scene in a movie really pissed you off? In one of the G.I. Joe films there is an explosion underwater and the ice at the top falls down and starts landing on the underwater base. Ice floats. I know this is silly, but the scene s in Face Off where they do the face stroking thing. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it just makes me cringe. 40 Days and 40 Nights The guy gets raped by his ex-girlfriend and then has to apologize to his new girlfriend. Every scene where Percy's face appeared on my screen in the Green Mile. Superman beating the hell out of Steppenwolf. All the other characters are useless from that point onwards. My fiancé hasn't forgiven Star Wars. Rise of Skywalker for them making it seem like Chewbacca had died in the aircraft explosion and then he's seen alive less than two minutes later. First scene in the Artemis Fowl movie shows the main character, who is notoriously unathletic and uncoordinated in the books, riding some waves on a surfboard. The end of I Am Legend missed the whole point of the book's ending. Autobots teleporting from America to England via terrible transition in the last Transformer movie. In office space when Milton didn't get his slice of cake. Still bothers me 24 years later. Whenever you can tell that the film cost billions with a script that isn't worth a dime. Willy Wonka, Grandpa Joe getting out of bed and do the silly dance because Charlie found a golden ticket. Grandpa Joe claimed the floor was cold earlier on in the movie. When Han Solo died, Leia goes and hugs Rey who she barely knows and ignores Chewie walking by. And hash X200B. The end of Greece where the car flies into the air for no reason. When Poe's dad says, the future of noodles is dice cut vegetables. WTF Goose. That's a terrible idea. You're gonna go out of business. Characters who just stand there and stare at something or someone instead of getting out of there. And winding up getting killed. Them explaining the end of Hulk's arc, the climax of his character, with some offhand references some diner. Such wasted potential. The entire Aragon movie. Dumbledore asked calmly. Yeah, hug the person that basically just met Han State, but don't comfort she in any way. Not a movie, but yeah, you're on Greyjoy shooting a flying dragon from an invisible fleet. Thanks God. I've had enough. Every scene where they just suddenly cut to a sex scene, with your family watching along with you. You are a Palpatine, had me saying to myself, you can't be fucking serious. Up am sitting on the staircase in Ramal. When there was a funeral for Tony Stark but not for Natasha Romanoff. The soldier who gets slowly stabbed at the end of Saving Private Ryan. In Return of the King, Sam gives Frodo his water after Frodo runs out and says, there's only a few drops left. Frodo then forgets how to drink and spills the last drops of water all over the place. Greater than, Rey and Kylo, less than kissing felt pretty unnecessary and borderline unsettling. 
Rose dropped the $10 million gem in the ocean just out of spite. Instead of, say, selling it and donating the money to charity. Dick move that always pisses me off when I see that. The entirety of Jurassic World watching Bryce Dallas Howard run all over the place in heels. I get really pissed off when the ending scene of a movie is shown at the very start like a preview. So you're basically just waiting for the ending scene to appear again through the entire film. Any scene where someone is knocked unconscious and doesn't die within minutes or get permanent severe brain damage. What a scriptwriter is so afraid of. Write some consequences, damn it. In Wolf of Wall Street when Donnie shows up to exchange money off to Brad and he's acting all drunk and on quaaludes. It's not a bad scene, it just pisses me off how funny it is and how he's acting. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.